Patient monitor testing can be quicker and easier than ever before with ProSim 8 from Fluke Biomedical. We're going to do a patient monitor test and we're going to try and do a, a complete but quick test of this patient monitor. Um, the parameters we're going to test are ECG rate, respiratory rate, um, eye invasive blood pressure, channel 1, we're going to do a cuff blood pressure and IBP measurement and oximetry. We're going to try and get all of this testing done in under five minutes. As you can see, there's a digital clock shown in the lower left-hand corner of the patient monitor display. So you can be your own judge as to whether we can get through this test within five minutes or not. So as I begin the test, we are already connected uh, to the device under test all of the connections have been made ahead of time, including the NIBP cuff. And um, we are going to zero our invasive blood pressure uh, uh, transducers on the patient monitor at the very first step of what we do, uh, followed by a selection of a simulation uh, of all coordinated patient parameters. We'll do hypertensive first, followed by normal followed by hypotensive in order to assess whether we have a performing patient monitor. We will compare the displayed values on the ProSim 8 against what's displayed on the patient monitor at each uh, uh, set of simulated parameters. Are you ready? Let's begin now. First thing I'm going to do is 0P1. It is at zero. And now what I'm going to do is pick hypertensive. And the simulation will already begin, so I'm going to start a blood pressure, cuff blood pressure reading. In this case, we're looking for an ECG rate of 130 beats per minute, respiratory rate of 40. We're looking for an invasive blood pressure uh, display of 200 over 150. We're looking for NIBP of 200 over 150 with a mean of 161, 167, and an SpO2 reading of 90. And it looks to me like we've got all of those on the patient monitor. 130, invasive blood pressure 198 over 149 with a mean of 167, and we have 90 uh, O2 sat and uh, 90, 197 over 142 with a mean of 165 on the cuff. Let's move to normal. The normal, blood, uh, the normal simulation includes heart rate, uh, ECG rate of 60 beats per minute, a respiratory rate of 20 breaths per minute, invasive blood pressure of 120 over 80, and a cuff blood pressure of 120 over 80 with a mean of 93, and SpO2 at 100%. O2 sat. As you can see, the patient monitor is already displaying 60 beats per minute for heart rate. It's gotten 119 over 79 with a mean of 93 for invasive blood pressure. And the cuff is making its measurement now for the O2 sat, or for the uh, NIBP reading. O2 sat is 100%. There we go, 121 over 77 versus 120 over 80, pretty good. We'll go to hypotensive now and start another cuff measurement. We're looking for an ECG rate of 40 beats per minute, respiratory rate of 115 breath, I'm sorry, 15 breaths per minute, and invasive blood pressure measurement of 50 over 20 and cuff blood pressure of 50 over 20 with a mean of 30, and an O2 sat of 97%. You can see that the ECG rate on the monitor is already 40. Our invasive blood pressure is 50 over 19, very close to 50 over 20. Our cuff is working on getting its measurement, and the O2 sat is 97, 
right on with what we asked for, what we're simulating. We started at 18.55 and 44 or 45 seconds, and we're going to finish very shortly here. Done. And we have good values. As you can see, it is possible to do a complete, quick assessment of patient monitor performance using ProSim 8 and front panel controls in under five minutes. Thank <laughs> you.